Denver, what's up? Y'all ready to have a party? Let's go. I knew I probably wanted to play music professionally uh, as soon as I could do it, but I, I was probably scared to admit it to myself because I picked it up so late and the learning curve was so steep. But you know, just as soon as I felt like I could uh, you know, write a song or you know play covers for three hours, I mean, I was pretty much I was pretty much bit with the bug, and I was going to do it uh, regardless. If I've been one to ask for help. I the church pew regular twice on Sunday. Quote you the scripture kind. I'm far from a preacher. I'm a believer. We felt we had a, a really good song when we wrote Prayed for You. Um, but you really never know if that's gonna transition into any kind of you know success commercially or how listeners are gonna respond. Um, because it's really such a it's such a gamble, you know. But but we knew that we were proud of the song, and that's always a good feeling. Initially, it broke through with streaming, and then we shot a music video for it, and, and uh, then we got sort of playlisted there on some platforms, and that turned into a uh, a record deal, which turned into a major record deal, which turned into country radio, which turned into you know, a number one song. It, it was uh, nothing like what I expected or planned for or anything. It was it was uh, pretty surreal and it's still pretty surreal. When I write songs, I, I think about the the character, the protagonist in the song um, as its own entity. Now, a lot of times that character is a lot like me. In both my single, Prayed For You, and in the upcoming single, Everywhere But On, there's a lot of me in those songs, you know? And I think that's a good way to uh, keep things organic and genuine, is to always have that that little bit of, of me in it. So far, the, the singles that we've had have been songs that, that, uh, that I, I, I lived a lot of. I've been a whiskey woods, falling off good Swaying in your seat, taking out on the floor The tipsy dance, tears in your hand Rocking with the band till three in the morning Eat something that'll get this night Going down like you In terms of the opportunities that Pray For You afforded me um, One was definitely getting to play the Grand Old Opry uh, I got to invite oh, so many friends and family from, from all over uh, came up for my Opry debut, and that was a really special uh, moment. That's something I'll always remember. Not only getting to play the Opry and stepping into the circle where all my heroes uh, stepped into, but also having so many people make the trip to, to uh, share that moment with me. It really means a lot, I'll never forget it. Love is a gamble, it's a game. But those dice ain't been rolling my way. It's a song that we've all heard, but I don't seem to know the word. My workflow is to generally just try to write songs that I'm proud of. Once I get those songs in a stack, then I uh, solicit opinions from people that I, opinions that I care about, like management, other writer friends of mine, label, because they know way more about uh, what is the best commercial foot forward than I do. And I, you know, the way that I stay true as an artist is just to just try to believe in what I'm writing every day so that whatever they choose is something I can stand behind. Pulling out all of my pain Starting to think I'm getting good at this The more I feel, the better I drink The opportunity that the BBVA Music Sessions uh, program uh, gave us is, is pretty tremendous. We, we got to come uh, here to Denver and play this uh, fantastic venue to a packed house of people that were excited to listen to some live music. And uh, we, we love playing club dates and we love the atmosphere and we love the vibe of uh, people packing in and, and just having a good time for one accord, you know, to listen to some music and have some fun, blow some steam off. So uh, we, we had a lot of fun and, and I was really, really happy for the opportunity. Drink, baby.